is the third and we are currently in Innisfail. Hoping to stop up near Cairns for the night. We're going to explore this kind of Innisfail up to Cairns area. And today we're at Patronella, no, Paranella Park, which is supposed to be like one of the top attractions down here. Or oh, down here, very far north. I had a lot of people recommend me it, so I don't really know what it is, but it says like number one must do in Queensland. It looks quite cool. I think it's got some cool history and stuff. But this is the sign, an experienced must be seen to be believed. Step back into the 1930s. Well, let's do it. I wonder if there's crocs in there. There's ruins from the castle over there. No, don't do that. This is really old. There's a swinging rope that I would not want to swing from because apparently there are crocodiles in here. Finally, a waterfall that's not dead. <laughs> Feeding this eel. Oh, she's that huge. lives here. Wow. Oh, the fish are getting it before her. Oh no. Oh my god. You see that? It looks like it's old. We just did the Paranella guided tour thing, which was really good. So much history. I re really recommend you guys coming here. It's very cool. It doesn't feel like we're in Australia. It feels like we're like in Europe or something. Wow. This is the bamboo forest. Oh, wow. Apparently if you knock on the tree, it, you can yeah. hear it's hollow. And these trees are going to grow like double the size and they can get like five meters thick. So they're going to be like almost touching. So this castle was just built for a toilet room, which is really cool. And when you're waiting, you're supposed to stand on the top. Mm -hmm. This is like the most iconic photo of Paranella Park. Yeah, this is where you had dinner. Yes. These were the original little picnic benches. Look at all the fish wanting to get fed. Hello, are you hungry? Yeah. Look at them. There's the old oven they used to use for the cafe. So that was a bit that was destroyed by the cyclone as well. Yeah, the lots of cyclones have come through and destroyed it, sadly. And here we have the big, well, the remains of the ballroom. This would have been my job back in the day. Mm -hmm. The stage. Up on the stage. Thinking about what you're going to wish for. Yeah. Yep, got to wish real hard. See if you've got good luck or bad luck. You have bad luck. So now we are at the skywalk, but it is currently raining outside. You probably can't see that, it's just like spitting. Yeah, but we're brave. But we're gonna do it anyway, yeah. And I've got my rain jacket on. First time I've actually been able to make use out of it, so I'm pretty happy about that. So since it was raining and it was such a great day, we didn't decide to do the skywalk today. We think we're gonna do it on the way down instead. It was a little bit more pricey than we had expected. So now we just continue driving and now we're at Mila Mila waterfall. So it looks really tropical and it's still raining, which is kind of cool. And I can see the water flowing down there, so. Oh, I ate too many of these, my stomach hurts. Ow, and I just poked myself in the eye caramelized onion and balsamic like crackers but they're like crisps so they're very good so apparently this is the waterfall where they filmed a herbal essences advert herbal essences advert uh there was the peter andre mysterious girl which was filmed right here as well uh something else we're, we'll have to figure out which video it is it's so pretty if it was a hot day i'd really be craving going in but just because it's so cold today i'm like oh i don't know if i want to I 
otherwise I'm just gonna roll backwards. Do you want me to be your handbrake? Yes, please, okay, I'm gonna. Ready? Go for it. We got it? Yeah, ready? <laughs> <laughs> you made it! Woohoo! Josephine Falls! Josephine Falls! This is where we're going. Yeah. We made it to our second real waterfall. Second real waterfall of the day. I've lost count, but it's a Josephine Falls. It looks really nice. I don't know if you can hear me because the water's so loud. And then there's a little slide down there, not so little. There's some people down there. And then there's that bottom part that apparently there's a slide and you can swim. Yeah. Looks sick, yeah, let's go. Down. chickens they were outside last night when we parked up as well but they were sleeping and we woke them up they were sat by that tree up there last night there you are you rascals how long have you been up oh that's right since 5 a.m we just camped in babina boulders last night without power which meant we couldn't use our beloved fan but it was actually pretty cold yesterday because it was raining all day and it rained this morning, so it was actually fine. I wasn't too hot at all. But now we're at, just at Babina Boulders and we didn't have time to see it last night just because it got dark while we were at Josephine Falls. So that's where we're gonna head now this morning. We're just gonna have some breakfast first. Probably have some wheat bix with milk and, milk and banana because that's pretty much all we can have right now when we don't have power. Just getting dressed. I can't believe that we've been actually looking forward to it raining. I know it's weird. but. It seems like everything in this part of the country is like better with rain. Mm -hmm. The water levels are higher for the waterfalls, the rock pools, so you can do more if it actually has rained. And when it's so humid, you want it to rain because it means it'll be less humid. Mm -hmm. it's, it's so sticky, nothing dries when it's this humid. Mm -hmm. And heels, nothing heels. What about your little scar on your foot? Oh yeah, it's still tender. The fish were biting at it yesterday. There's the little fish that like eat dead bits of skin. They were pretty aggressive on like a fresh cut, which is kind of disgusting if you think about it. That that was pretty that was pretty painful yesterday. Seeing all the fish going for a, a fresh one. Uh -huh. This is the reality of living in a van for a month. Well, we've not even been here a month. We've been here for like two weeks, a bit more. Oh, there he is again. <laughs> He's been waking us up all morning. We have fridge. We have this. This is storage for food. We have that which we've never actually had to wash up in and we also have a cooker which we've never had to use just because we've been staying at campsites. Now that you're putting it on camera I realise this place is such a mess. Yeah I know we need to clean it and the amount of sand that's in the bed is uh, unreal. It's all you. That's all you. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and apparently there was this lady who threw herself in the water here and loads of young men have died here because apparently she's like calling for you to jump in yeah i can actually feel an impulse to to jump in but it's just because you're not allowed it says many people have died here i think you know quite a lot of young men who are traveling decide to jump in and they're like drawn to jump in and that's why the legend is that she claims young men thinking it's her old lover We're at the 
swimming hole. It looks so nice. So we're gonna get a little swim in here. We have this also. It's zero percent. Everything, no alcohol, nothing harmful to the environment. All pretty natural. So we're gonna use it because we have no shower this morning. <laughs> to go to a platypus viewing place you can view them in the wild now we are here at Tozali Lakes so hopefully we'll get to see some platypus and now we know a little bit extra about them so it's gonna be very exciting so we're at this first viewing point and we have seen a little bit of a platypus twice both times we were about to leave but he was just like popping his head up over here but yeah he hasn't come up very close so we think we're gonna head to the third like look at point where apparently all the males hang out and we'll hope to see something a little bit closer on there guys we just arrived in Cairns and we got some lovely garlic bread look at that it's that's good amazing. stone bakes and we just arrived at our campsite called cool waters holiday park and it actually looks really really nice we're really? just by like a little creek where you can go swimming turtle center you can just go feed them so let's just down there. They have a pool and a spa which we're just gonna go find out what it is actually. It's around like six o'clock so we're gonna explore that and then we're probably gonna freshen up and go out for a drink and a meal. So uh -huh. that should be nice. A bit different to living in the rainforest yeah, for like first three time. days. So First time in civilization for yeah three days. It's gonna be good. The sun's just about to set over the mountain there. This is our little caravan area. We're just hanging out in the pool and then there's a bubble pool right there that we're about to go in so this park is so nice surrounded by the jungle and the mountains look at that beautiful sunset we're just looking for a place to dine in cans. Really. So I'm just editing this, um, but I want to say thank you so much for watching. I know it was a little bit shorter than usual, but next vlog will be because I wanted to do it like a cans vlog. So next vlog will be lots of fun activities that we did during our time in Cairns. Um, I went diving for the first time ever, which was amazing. So yeah, there's lots of exciting things in my next vlog. I can't wait to see you then. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already and follow my socials because I will keep you guys updated on there. Also leave a comment 
what you thought um i've been loving reading your comments recently it's really really motivating me to keep going if you want to comment a place in australia that you would go to if you could or something that you would do in australia if you could let me know and um, we'll definitely try and do some of your things and take you guys along so yeah i love you all and i'll see you in my next video bye I will